Liberty's excited. We have all these sheets and blankets and we're just letting her pick what she wants for her nest. And she's like super excited. So she's so cute. She loves making bedding nests when she has puppies. So Liberty's trying some Greek yogurt. This is for calcium. Labor and delivery requires a lot of calcium. So part of what we do. <laughs> it is very late at night and I'm pretty sure we've started having contractions so far, she just keeps panting. Hi, babes. Can you give me a paw? 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 Oh. As you see here, she's looking good. She's looking good. We've been having a lot of contractions. I mean, I think not a lot, but like, we have been having a few, I think. to put this one in to snuggle. One forty-five in the morning and Liberty just came in and woke me up, wanted to go outside and was trying to stay outside, looked like she was going to push. So I got her back in and she kind of uh, dug up her blankets, I don't know if you can see. She kind of poofed them up and she's starting to get that look, look in her face. <laughs> Things are getting more serious. I can tell she's feeling a little nauseous because she keeps gagging like that. Um, so the contractions are getting pretty hefty at this point. You're doing great, Liberty. You're doing great. You're such a pretty mama. you guys I stepped out for like four minutes to get a cup of water and to just kind of help my kids get situated for breakfast and she had the first one <laughs> oh so I miss the official time but she's cleaning it let's see here what you got mama girl I knew we were gearing up I knew we were gearing up and I shouldn't have left oh Baby, it's a brindle. Put the light on. Okay. And luckily, we've done this a time or two, so put my gloves on. And being how he's all the way out of the sack and everything, I'm gonna guess he's about <coughs> three minutes old. Let's check. Let's see what we got. Hey, baby. It is a boy. Oh, it's a boy. Good job, Mama. It's a boy. Oh, no. Mama's not taking him. I'm just going to see how much he weighs. I'm just going to see how much he weighs. Oh, he weighs one pound point. 
1.6 ounces. One pound and 0.6 ounces. Little diamond on his chest. Let's see if we can see that. White diamond. He's ready to nurse. Okay. All right, while we were weighing the red, the little female, Liberty had another one. So oh my. that is gonna be, uh, oh, phew, it's left. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the other one. I'm gonna take the, it's all right, I'm just gonna put in your basket with this to make it warm up together. Good job, Bert, you did so good. Oh my gosh. Just dropped out. Okay, that's a big one. Gonna interfere too much because he's breathing. I'm gonna let her finish. Oh, good. Okay, so she had a brindle female. Get down the shoot. Another brindle female. So we are gonna stimulate her and help dry her off while mama cleans herself. Good. I'm I'm hoping she has another I'm really hoping she has another one not far behind because she worked on that puppy for oh, a good 30 or 40 minutes. Good job, Liberty. Good mid -woof. I'm mm. great at it. Is this a boy or a girl? Mm. Can I hold it and see if it's a boy or a girl? No, because she won't allow it. It's a girl. It's the one that was just born. I think it's breathing. Push! Yeah, I had to, I looked very closely because I got excited. One more push, Mama. You can't live with it in there here. Puppy is breathing. We're just waiting on, on her to have another contraction so she can push him out the rest of the way. Okay. Good job, puppy. Good thing I saw, otherwise it could have died. I have to 
get her up in a minute if I don't want to pull on his limbs. Okay, I'm just going to help kind of guide him out gently. There you go. God. Good job. Good thing I saw that. Good job. Thank you. I am so glad. My daughter looked down. Liberty started pushing. She was only pushing for like three minutes. My daughter looked down and said, oh, I saw nostrils and a tongue. I'm like, you did? So I put my gloves on and took a peek. And sure enough, that was helpful because I was able to fold back the vulva around her face and wipe some of the fluid off. And then Liberty could lick the fluid off of her nostrils so she didn't inhale any fluid or drown. My daughter is a skilled puppy midwife for being nine years old. I'm very proud of her. <laughs> she you. loves animals and she's a natural animal nurturer and she just understands the science of it all as well because she's been helping me. Well, she's been around puppy delivery since she was one year old. So we have another bowl of her calcium what do you call it? Her calcium treat. And then I think it's time to change puppy bedding. She doesn't like touching. And then I think it's time to change puppy bedding because this is pretty soiled. So I'm going to start a load of laundry. So I think we're about halfway through. So um, provided it all goes well, we should be done. Hopefully, I hope by bedtime. So we are waiting for the next puppy to be born. Liberty is getting a little bit restless and starting to prepare for pushing again. Don't mind the mess in the background. That is a very normal color during parturition. What did the mom do? <laughs> Let me zoom in on that. Hold on there. Look at this beautiful mama. Birdie. Look at this beautiful mama. All her babies are nursing. The dogs are barking. Look at the puppies. Denali is barking, yes. Mm -hmm. She's Denali is being extra careful and watchful for Liberty. She's making sure nobody comes near our fence today. Because she's like, my sister is in there having puppies. Y'all better watch out. And that's what she's doing. She's protecting Bert and her babies. Yeah, There's a fly. The flies are coming in the, the door when we go in and out. These babies are beautiful. So sadly, we lost um, an apricot male. He was the second born. I have no idea why, but when he was born, there was meconium in his sack, and so he was clearly in some kind of distress. And I tried to revive him with CPR, but he did not make it. The second puppy we lost was number eight, and he was premature. He was a lot smaller than the rest, so not really sure what happened with him. But seven are thriving, doing well. So following morning, and Liberty didn't have any more puppies, so I guess she was just warm last night. She is waiting for a plate of scrambled eggs I just made for her. And that's some goat's milk. It's a calcium supplement. It's actually called Cal Oral Cow Plus, but it's made from goat's milk, so I'm gonna give her this. It also has 
the eggshells scrambled into the eggs for extra calcium now that she's making milk for seven puppies. So the total count is we have, what was it girls? Was it three boys and four girls? Yeah, the total count is we have three boys and four girls. And here they are. One's hiding in a little nest, but they've all had mama milk. They're looking around going, where'd mama go? They're so precious. <laughs>